Hello my friends, it's Nancy Vasting. Welcome back to my channel. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bond some napkins to freezer paper so that I can punch some shapes out. Basically I want to punch out some borders and in order to do that the napkin has to be stiffer. So what I have here, now I have a video on this, and I know a lot of people have watched it, but I'm going to go over it again with you. What you need is, of course, a napkin with the backing pulled off of it, and you need freezer paper that has plastic, that is plastic coated, okay? You may want to make sure that your freezer paper is plastic coated. Okay, so I cut a piece off. Now I have my I have my iron here. I'm going to use that. I'm going to get rid of my mouse. And I have a pressing quilter's pressing pad that I'm using. And I'm going to go ahead and um, my iron feels hot. You want it no steam. Uh, if it's too warm, I'll turn it down. But I I don't know. This is an iron that has numbers on it, and I have it turned to five, whatever that means. I don't know. So I'm just going to start. Oh, you know what? No, you got to have a piece of parchment paper. I forgot the parchment paper. I'm going to have to go downstairs. I'll be right back with that. Phew, I'm so glad that I remembered that, or I'd have had sticky on my iron. So here we go. I have parchment paper just regular parchment paper well you want non-stick parchment paper and I'm just going to put this over the top like so so that the plastic wrap can't tear off a big enough piece I don't guess Oh well, we'll go with that, okay? So then you start ironing. You want to make sure you get all your edges really good. And I'm going to have to pull it up because this board isn't big enough to do the bottom part. That's hot. Be careful, guys. It's hot. Okay, I'm going to pull it up so I can get the bottom half of this. You just want to make sure you get your edges. Real good. And then you'll have a substantial piece of paper to punch. I hope. I've never done it. I'm hoping this will work. You're going to watch it with me right here. Alright, let's see what we have here. We have a hot piece of paper. Okay, it's not quite got the edges yet. So I'm going to go over them again. And you can leave it, you know, you can set it in one spot and make sure you get your edges. You want to make sure that your part of your Freezer paper, it has got the plastic side up. That's what you're bonding it to. Try it again and pull this parchment paper over and make sure I get all the corners. Okay. 
I do have a video and a tutorial on this, but I thought I would still do this with you guys so that you can see. All right, so we got our edges. Yep, it looks like we do. All right, I'm going to turn my iron off. And let it cool down. I'm going to do some more later, but I just wanted to do this one with you guys so you could see. And hopefully I can get it to cool down enough I can trim it off of here. Because I want to see if it's going to punch. I'm pretty sure it will. Just want to make sure. I've had a lot of comments on the tutorial that I did on these that this was so much easier than the uh, saran wrap. I thought it would be much easier than saran wrap because. I'm always fighting with that stuff and it gets wrinkled and I, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it would work that well. A lot of people like it to bond their napkins to, but I like the freezer paper. Then you have a backing on the back and you don't have to bind it to anything else. Alright, let's get rid of this. And now we have a piece of paper. See that? All on there. Really nice. Now let's get a punch. Let's see. Which one do I want? Let's try this one. This is a Martha Stewart heart punch. I'm going to try this one and see if it's going to work. Okay, wish me luck. Well, guess what? It works. Line it up again. Go the other direction. If you don't, don't know how to use these punches, there's a learning curve to them. And I had a hard time at first learning how to use them. I also want to put this through my um, die cutting machine. I want to do one more on the edge. Okay, so now, see, there's a learning curve because when you go back the other way, you shouldn't have this little thing there. So in order for me to use these, I'm going to have to cut that off right there. So this is just another way that you can use your napkins that are all laying around. You could even collage, you know, collage the, not glue them down, but set them down on the freezer paper and all the different ends that you have. 
So now I have a nice little border to put in my um, journal. Let's try another kind. All these little papers didn't come out. I have little hearts. Sorry about that. There's little teeny hearts. I should save them. Put them in a shaker. Look at all those teeny little hearts. Can you all see them? Put them in a shaker. Yeah, let's see. What can I put them in? Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on. I'll be right back. I am going to go right here and get me this little container that I have right here. And I'll put these little hearts in there. If I can get them off of this. No. I have so much static in my house and my furnace won't keep up. We are so cold here. Um, it was wind chill factor today was five below. But guess what? We're going to warm up Sunday to 67 degrees. I can't believe it. I, I just, that blows my mind. Alright, let's try another one. This is another one of uh, Martha's. I like this one also. Alright, now it seems like I'm going to have a little bit of trouble. I gotta get this lined up right. Okay. This punch seems to not want to work on this. Doesn't want to release my paper. Come on, give it to me. I'm going to try one more time and punching it. Because I'm not a quitter. I'll do it till I get it right. Somehow it just doesn't want to oh, go this way. Let's see if it'll work this way. If I could see my little guide here. No. This punch is giving me problems. It just doesn't want to it it's not sharp. So we will try something else. I'll cut this off and because uh, it should have worked. But I'll figure something out. I want to make sure that it, I can punch on this 
paper. Alright, let's try let's try an EK success. See if this one will work. I haven't used these punches in so long. That one works great. I could see the I can't get it quite right. If you get them off, one little thing, then they have a problem. But the experiment was to, to make sure that these papers that were bound would cut. Now see that did, except for it messed up right here. But that's not a big deal. I can work with that. So I have another border. to glue in the book. Alright, so we know that works. Let's try another one. Now this one Cuts the whole thing off. Ouch, that hurt. Pinch my finger. Let's try this one. This is another Martha. And already it's got a problem. All right. Wish me luck. See, I boo booed. I don't know if I can fix that or not. Let me see. And I'm going to mess with it. Get in there. Come on, paper. It gets jammed. It's jammed. I think I'm going to use my die cut. What I think I'm going to do. These punches could drive you to drink. More than just water. I still didn't get that right. Now it really messed up. See, I don't like punches. I just don't like them. I mean, they're pretty, 
but they just don't work for me. Anyway, border punches. But anyway, that's kind of kind of cute. I was showing it to the computer. <laughs> computer, look. It's kind of cute though. It's just messed up. Messed up there and there. But it'll work. It will work. Alright, I'm going to pause for a little bit and see if I can find a die cut and run it through my machine here and see how that works. So I will be, I'll clean this mess up and I'll be right back. Okay, I found some borders and I cut some strips off of it and we're going to lay them out here and see if they they're kind of intricate and have little holes in them but we're going to see if they work on this bonded paper so I got my thing all set here nope that's wrong I don't want them that way I want them this way. I don't want to cut into my mat. I want to have the cutting portion up. Cut that off. And I can cut that off. And if they don't come out perfect, that's okay. We don't live in a perfect world. All right, I'm going to push, put them through. They cut beautiful. I just, yeah. Yeah, they did. See that? Now, that one is stuck. Stuck in the, but it'll come out with a little bit of coaxing with the pokey tool it will come out okay come on let's get a hold of it so anyway uh, the experiment was they work so if you want to die cut or punch your napkins, you have to bind them first. Put them on some paper, on freezer paper. Okay, here we go. Look how pretty that one is. See how pretty? See how pretty that comes out? With just napkins. And that one.
and this, this one. Now I can cut across there and make that straight, but that's pretty border. All right, let me clean up here and I'll be back and we'll do a little bit of gluing in the book of some of the ones we stamped, okay? I shall see you in just a few minutes. Okay guys, I think I'm ready. What I'm gonna use today is napkin by decoupage napkin glue it's a wet glue but i'm going to use it today and i think what i want to do is i don't know if i want to put down another napkin and then put down some of the fun funky animals or just put down some of the funky animals let's just do some of the funky animals and then if i decide to change it up we can change it up so let's see, let's put some, should we put some monsters on this page? So let's do our wet thing and with our brush and cut out some monsters, actually tear out some monsters. like so like that and let's see this is going to take a lot on this page let's see we'll go for this one I stamped them too close together. <clears throat> That's okay. That's all right. We don't care. Let's do this little guy. So much easier to tear when you have water on it. And we'll do this little guy. Too much water in my brush. It's hard because I don't have the right brush. That's all right. We got it. Okay, now let's see what we have on another napkin. Get our books moved. What do we have here? We have owls. We don't have monsters. I don't know if we consider this little guy a monster. He's a crazy bird. We'll do these big monsters. And then maybe we'll do a background. That'll be great, huh? Let's do these bigger ones. They'll take up more of the page. You see what I'm doing? My camera is so low with this arm and I can't raise it up any higher. So it'll just have to do. We'll just have to work with it, guys, won't we? We'll just have to work with it. Let's, oh, let's do this one. And 
we'll do this one. Like I was telling you earlier, it's been such bitter cold, but I think it's bitter cold everywhere. The whole United States, I think, is getting this vortex. And if you're not, you are lucky. Because we've had winter warnings to stay inside. Winter warnings for our pets. And, um... I'm afraid my dogs are going to freeze every time they go outside. I tell them to hurry, but they just don't hurry. And it seems like they're out there forever. Poor little Molly, my little Miss Molly, that was Wes's dog. Sorry, didn't mean to bump you guys. But you're just down here so low. She um, woke up the other morning and had her hind leg behind her. And she like she couldn't walk. She couldn't put any pressure on it. This was Tuesday. And I called my vet. He does house calls. So he comes out to the house. I called him and um, he said that he would come out on third like this morning and to start her on um, some baby aspirins. So I started giving her a half a baby aspirin every four hours and she started walking on it really good but like it wasn't bothering her. And he came today and he checked her out and he's quite worried about she's uh, losing muscle mass. And um, he said there's something going on for her to be losing muscle mass like that. And so he did blood work on her and oh, I hope she's going to be okay. Because I just, she's. Um, almost 11 years old but she's just been mourning the loss of Wes for so long for so she just she doesn't cry anymore but she's just really mopey and she doesn't <clears throat> want to be held and loved on she just wants to lay in her cage and be left alone, and that bothers me. But she was such a loving little dog. She's a little dachshund. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's put some of these raindrops. And we'll get on with our page and see what we have going on. I picked a page that had some um, ink on it when I inked the pages so that we'll be able to see that through. Okay, let's put these away and see what we have. See what we can glue. We can glue today. And I'll have to go back and do some more stamping, I think. So, let's get this little book over here. Oh, we want to put our backgrounds on there. So, we'll put that right there. Let's see. Maybe I should have shook this up. It seems awful thin. Hang on, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to 
shake, 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 shake. But the napkin was really thin to begin with, so it was thin glue. Okay, here we go. Now that is the distressed ink, so they'll, it'll probably move, but I don't care. I just want to get these down and see how cool it's going to be in here. And it's going to wrinkle, and that's okay. I'm old and I'm wrinkly too, so. Oh, that looks pretty in there. It just dissolves away. Let's put some of these over here. I need to get it to the top of the page. Maybe not that far to the top of the page. I better quit while I'm ahead or I'm going to ruin it. All right. Look what we got. All right, I'm going to try an experiment here. Let's put some other... Um, Napkin down underneath it. Okay, let's put a piece of this one down. Let's put this right here. I love to glue. I love to glue, glue, glue. Yes, I do. Because it's fun to do. I need to do it more often. Now, let's put this little guy down right there in the middle of that. See how cool that is? That's pretty nifty. Nifty Swifty. We can't waste this piece of napkin, so it's got to go on here somewhere. We just can't waste it. All right, let me see if I can pull this camera up. Hang on, guys. I want to. Pull it up. There. Is that better? A little more? Oh, this thing's hard to bend. There, now you can see the whole page. Yay! So that's pretty cool. To have that on there and then put that little guy on there. So, let's try something else. Let's try, I don't know, 
something that doesn't have much color in it. I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking. Okay, let's put that there. Maybe I'll have to get out my paints and paint behind these napkins. These are so fun to do. And it gives a place for my napkins to go. I'm going to do whole pages with some of them, though. I'm not going to cut them up. I'm going to put a friend on here. And put your friend right there. And I'm going to put your other friend up here. He kind of blends in with that. And I'm going to put another friend over here. So what do you think guys? You think that is cool? I do. Now we got to put something down here. Something, something. Let's do a border. How about if we do a border? Oops. Not that one. We can do this one like that. What do y'all think? I think we should. Where's my scissors? Oh, I needed to cut one more heart off. All right. The problem with using wet glue is we gotta wait for it to dry. And I could get some wax paper or parchment paper and put in between the pages. All right, stick down. That looks pretty. Doesn't it? Doesn't that look cute? I'm going to put this somewhere. I'll put it right there. Oops. 
Get off my brush. Come on. Stay. Why doesn't that want to stick? It's being obstinate. Maybe obnoxious. Okay. Oh, we're kind of done with that page. And I have parchment paper right here. No, that freezer paper. another page shall we shall we glue one more page let's go back here and now let's see let's glue oh let's glue a whole napkin shall we let's glue this No, maybe not that one. Hmm. How about just part of this one? that song in my head, New York, New York, for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, we're going to do this. you guys are staying warm this is running this is running all over the place this ink but that's okay It can run. For some reason, I don't think this glue is good anymore. I think it's too old. So it certainly is not working very well. You know what I mean? I think I tore it right there. That's okay. 
And I'll just put that over the top of it. That'll work. So I can't believe that we're going to get up into the almost 70 degrees on Sunday. Wow. Then it's going to plummet back down again. This glue is just not sticking very well. Oh well. Now I'm going to put this guy on here. Put him right there. And he's going to look like he just belonged right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to put his little friend down here. And he's going to dissolve and go away, except for where he's printed. Isn't that cool how that does that? Napkins and tissue paper. And we're going to put this one up in the corner up here. This little that guy. Oh, this is fun playing. guys I think I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna get off of here for tonight for today it's evening and uh, and fix myself something to eat and just maybe do some diamond painting later. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed what I'm doing. And you can um, bond you some napkins and cut you out some border or whatever you want. I may get punches out tomorrow or the ne whenever I come on here the next time and punch out flowers or you know whatever and glue them in here and this little guy he needs to go down here. He's gonna get lost if he doesn't if he doesn't go down on this page he will be lost. He will get lost in the mishmash. So I'm trying to keep this room pretty organized, but it's pretty hard when I don't have the shelving space up here like I had downstairs. And, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm not. 
I'm trying not to bring as much stuff up. Just what I need to use and then store the rest of it down back downstairs. All right, guys, we did this one. Where's our other piece of parchment? And this one. And I had fun. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and share me with all of your friends, all of the social networks, wherever you want to share me would be great. And I will see you on the next video. Where's my mouse? Bye bye.